What's up everybody, my name is Wes, and today we have an insulation video going on here. Now it's nothing really major to the car, but um, I was at Walmart doing a little Christmas shopping for myself a few weeks ago, and uh, I happened to come across this little guy. So basically this is interior lighting. I always wanted to do it on the BRZ, but um, it was like 25 bucks, had two LED strips, I'm like, meh, why not, let's try it out. So this is by Type S. Um, if this thing would love to focus any day now, Anyways, um, it's app controlled and uh, there's a bunch of different lightings and things of that sort, um, which is really cool. Um, but other than that, you know, it's cheap, 25 bucks. So we're gonna do a little installation video today. Okay, so when you get the kit, basically it gives you two LED strips that are about 12 inches long, right? Um, you can cut these. Um, I really wouldn't recommend it, but um, then you're just kind of wasting the product towards, at least my opinion. But um, there is a male ending and there's a female, let me get this backed up, female, male, and um, these will go in into your connections essentially. So we'll make this a little bit easier. There's a central hub that comes with it. Uh, I believe this is a uh, you know, you uh, Bluetooth to your phone. There's an app, we control the lighting, cool, yada, yada, yada. Basically, you have your main power source right here, which is connected by this. This um, can go into your, I guess it's like, I don't know what it's really called, but um, your cigarette lighter kind of type of place. Um, it has an on off switch, which is really nice. So let me see if I can get a zoom up of that. Get my face out of this maybe, maybe. It loves my face apparently, but um, it has an on and you push it in, it's on. It's like a normal everyday switch type of thing. Um, there are two places you can put this in your cup holder area. It's kind of obvious where it is. And there is one in your glove compartment. It's kind of hit up there. Um, maybe for long-term purposes, if I really like doing this, I'll put it up there. But for a short time, just my personal enjoyment, I'm gonna have it right here for ease of access. Um, but the power will go pretty much right into here. I mean, it's simple. It has a little arrow, arrows to, you can't fuck up essentially. It's it's really easy to do this. But what happens is that you get these extenders. Now, the back of this hub has four essentially um, LED strips that you can insert into here. They give you extension cables, right? Um, obviously, you don't want it coming right out of the hub. But they give you extension cables where the LED can insert into here, and then this is where it goes to the main hub. So you would just essentially just plug it right in here, and then your LED strip would pretty much plug right into here, right? And then that's pretty much it. That's your whole connection. Um, so, I mean, it's pretty long. I'd say from the hub to the other side of the door, you can go almost the entire length of the car. So um, you know, this is plenty of room for, especially a small car like the BRZ. Um, I'm not sure if you want to do any more lighting other than that, um, especially if you want to try to get some back area, but this should be fine. Um, it's pretty simple. It does come, like I said, it does come with a hardwire situation. So if you want to do it uh, manually or um, you know do it that way as well, hardwire the car, then you can do that as well. Um, it only gives you two. There are options for four LED strips. Um, I'm not sure if they sell these separately online or if it's like a kind of a universal thing. I'm not sure, not into you know the LED scene type of thing. But it comes with 3M tape, right? And then it, they give you a nice fat one as well. Um, this is like a Velcro, so you can put it back on your hub and then you can stick it somewhere else, So, which I will do. Um, this is pretty much discretionary, however you guys like it. I'm gonna put it underneath the wheel wells, or not the wheel wells, wow. Um, where your feet go, right, that area. Um, that's where we're gonna put ours. So hopefully this thing looks pretty cool. Um, they have an app and everything's supposed to control the colors, but um, I'm gonna kind of situation this through and then I'll come back to you guys and then we'll kind of see if I need to help you guys with any of this stuff. So for the people who have a BRZ, this, there's a little lip underneath the normal, okay, so here's your steering wheel and it kind of comes down and there's a flat lip right here. Um, this is pretty much the, almost the entire length of the LED strip. You'll have a little bit hanging over here. Um, so if you don't want that, I mean, maybe cut it. But um, you know, this honestly is like a perfect fit for this thing. Um, so anybody who's looking kind of a, once I want to say an example of kind of how I did it, I literally just took the sticker off and slapped it right on there. So hopefully that helps, you know, someone out. All right, so this is where we are at. I got the main hub connected on here. Um, 
So essentially, I just stuck it down here as well. You might have to pull this the top part of the LED a little bit off to get the connection. It is only going to fit one way. Um, so if you try to, it's almost like the USB type of thing where you're putting the computer. If it doesn't fit to one way, you just need to flip it over and put it the other way. Then it should fit. You need to make sure that you put your prongs basically the way the hub is going. So don't pay, face on the opposite way. Otherwise that extension thing won't work. I found that out. Okay, so now after 10 minutes of dicking with this thing, I finally got it to work. Long story short, um, this is kind of what happens. So if anybody has to go through this crap, you'll kind of know what to do as well. This fuse, um, there's a little fuse in there. You can unscrew it. There's a little fuse. Try to take it out and wiggle that thing back in and forth. There's a spring in there that when it collapses, when you put it in right, it's supposed to have the current of the electricity go through. Well, that wasn't working, so I had to jiggle with it, flip it around, spit on it, you know, rub it around, make it happy, whatever. And then finally, I had got power to the hub, which is blinking blue right there. If that thing is not blinking blue, you do not have power. Um, so this finally, I guess it finally decided to want to work. Um, so we got power. Once we got power, the lighting and the cords did not want to work. As you guys can see, it's kind of red. I have the lighting right here as well. Now my back uh, 3M tape doesn't want to stick because I've taken it off uh, you know, 16 times now. But nonetheless, I got it to work. Apparently, you need to like... No one says this in any other installation videos, but you should put the LED strips into your hub first to make sure there's power. And if there's power, then you use the extension cables to plug them in. Because if you use the hub to extension cables, then the LED strips, like any other person would ever think of, um, it should work. Well, apparently it doesn't do with this. Um, so that's how it kind of looks. Now, I don't know if this app thing is really going to work. So, see, I haven't even watched the video on it. See, I was like, what the hell was I doing wrong? Um, okay, so here's the app. Um, basically, it's Bluetooth. So you just connect it to Bluetooth. It should do it pretty much on on its own. Um, so one, three, two, and four do not match up as you would think down the hub. It goes one, two, three, four. So if you do one and three, you have to go one, space, and then three. You'll see if you're insula installing this. You'll know what I mean. Um, so we're going to see. So I have one right here. So we're going to turn that off. And it turned off. We get a little better view of this. So, and then we're going to click on here and we turn it back on. You want to focus? Here, let's focus on the light, please. Thank you. And then we're going to change the color of this. So we can actually do different things. We can make it blink. We can make a strobe. If you want a seizure? That's always cool. Um, it can go to the music as well. So if you have music playing, I guess. Ah. Ah. Oh, cool. So it's going by the view. <laughs> it's going by my voice. That's cool too. But I like the glow. Um, we can change the color, so let's change the color. We like green, we like blue, we like white as well. What about yellow? Yellow does pretty good, red does great. So we're just gonna stick with red. This is the theme of the car, as you could tell. Um, but that's pretty much how this bad boy works. And I think it looks pretty good. You know, I would say definitely during the nighttime, this, this will be noticeable. Um, just one thing for you guys, if you're installing this, this piece, this connection piece, um, this is kind of heavy for this three millimeter tape. It likes to sit and bend a little bit. So luckily on that one, there's like a piece of plastic I was able to like wrap it on and it holds it. But this, it, it'll kind of bend a little bit. So if you maybe have a zip tie or something, you can hold it up. It'll help with this. But um, other than that, with the little pain in the ass on the installation part, this thing is actually, I'm quite surprised how bright these are. These are actually really cool. So what was supposed to be, about five minute installation came out to 30 for me because well I'm just special that way um, but hope that um, you guys if you guys go to Walmart maybe on Amazon if you guys see this it's really cheap um, I think it's really cool it just adds a little uh, you know flair personalization to your car and um, you know I'm always really about that so um, hope you guys like this video it's probably a lot longer than it ever should have been and there's probably a lot better videos on the internet um, like I had to watch to figure this shit out so um, you know hope everyone who watches this can uh, you know help themselves out on this so I'm out I'm gonna enjoy this we're gonna see how uh, maybe this looks out later in a different video on, on during the night time or something like that but uh, I'm out hope you guys have a good rest of your day have a good one bye